Patrymau iaith diwrnod saith. Corwen a Llangollen. Mynediad. Day 7 Language Patterns. Your day in Corwen and Llangollen uses units 23 to 27 of the Mynediad course. Here's a quick review of the main grammar points and patterns from the units. Rhif un. Rhaid. Must. Rhaid is a form of board, to be, where you must be doing something. It's different to a command where you are instructing someone to do something. Rhaid i mi gerdded. Does dim rhaid i mi gerdded. Oes rhaid i mi gerdded. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid i ti. Does dim rhaid i ti. Oes rhaid i ti. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid iddo fo. Rhaid iddi hi. Does dim rhaid iddo fo. Does dim rhaid iddi hi. Oes rhaid iddo fo. Oes rhaid iddi hi. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid i Edward. Rhaid i'r plant. Does dim rhaid i Edward. Does dim rhaid i'r plant. Oes rhaid i Edward. Oes rhaid i'r plant. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid i ni. Does dim rhaid i ni. Oes rhaid i ni. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid i chi. Does dim rhaid i chi. Oes rhaid i chi. Oes. Nac oes. Rhaid i ddyn nhw. Does dim rhaid i ddyn nhw. Oes rhaid i ddyn nhw. Oes. Nac oes. Rhif dau. Mynd i. Mynd at. What's the difference? Some verbs, for example, mind, to go, can be followed by different prepositions. For example, e or at with mind, to create different meanings. Mind plus e plus place. Mind plus at plus person. For example, Mind i'r meddygfa. Go to the doctor's surgery. Mind at a doctor. Go to the doctor. Rhif tri. Kin ar ôl. What's the difference? In English, the words before and after give a sense of order of things. Kin, before. Are all, after. These two words are often followed by the preposition e, which is changed to include different people. E me, e ti, e the vo. Iddi hi, i Edward, i ni, i chi, iddyn hu. And this use of i causes a mutation in the following word. Cyn i mi fynd, before I go. 
ar ôl i mi fynd. After I go. Notice the lack of un in this pattern. It is relatively straightforward, but links with a number of different patterns and causes mutations, which can take some practice to use in speech. Rhaid i ti dacluso'r ystafell cyn i ti fynd. You must tidy the room before you go. Ar ôl i mi adael, mi es i syth adra. After I left, I went straight home. Cyn i ddo fo fynd i'r gwely, mi wnaeth o ddweud nos da. Before he went to bed, he did say good night. Rhif pedwar Mai ydi oedd ddydd with sit lle pryd poi beth faint the question words sit, lle, pryd, poi, beth, vaint have been used since early on in the course and are probably used fairly naturally. But there's a little bit of rule that has been avoided. In the present tense, sit, lle and pryd are followed by the word mai. Sit mai'r tywydd. Lle mae'r car? Pryd mae'r cyfarfod. Be, beth, faint and poi are followed by the word ydi. Be ydi dy en o di. Faint ydi'r bel? Poi ydi'r tiwtor? In the past, all these question words are followed by Oedd. Sit oedd y tywydd. Faint oedd y bil. In the future tense, all these question words are followed by fydd. Sit fydd y tywydd. Faint fydd y bil. Rhif pimp. Mair, maina, specific and non-specific. Think about the meaning of the two different questions in English. Is there coffee on the table? And is the coffee on the table? Is there coffee on the table? You are asking about there being some coffee on the table. Is the coffee on the table? You are asking about a specific cup of coffee that perhaps someone has made for you. Being non-specific, you are not talking about a specific item. Is there coffee on the table? Oes na goffi ar y bwrdd? Oes, ma na goffi ar y bwrdd? Na, coes, dois na ddim coffi ar y bwrdd. This example is not specific. Oes na. Is there. Mae na. There is. Dois na ddim. There isn't. The na causes a mutation in the following word. Being specific. You are talking about a specific item. Is the coffee on the table? Ydi'r coffee ar y bwrdd? Ydi, mae'r coffee ar y bwrdd. Nac ydi, dydi'r coffee ddim ar y bwrdd.